We're not working that farm. In fact, it's not a farm anymore. Okay. Pausing whilst I draw in three more orchards. Okay, we need to get rid of this road. Uh, yeah, we've got a lot of homeless people here. And I'm sure we'll get that dealt with. Why they're not using those empty boarding houses is beyond me. All right. All right, this whole thing needs to repeat itself going up this way, so... All right, we're taking this farm down, and all this stuff has to go as well. And I know my citizens are going to be thrilled with me for it, especially when I put a priority on getting this done. But in later years, they will see the wisdom of my actions. Okay, we've got plenty of farmers assigned, plenty of builders, plenty of laborers. Because in the long run, this town is going to have boatloads of food. There's 35,000 food right now. And why are you people... Oh. Work it. Come on. Pause. I've got farmers. Yeah, it definitely needs farmers for this thing. Oh. Yeah, I got to assign the crop. It's a good thing I caught that in time for pears. Right, pears, plums, Apples, peach, cherry, we'll go back to apple, all right, now they'll start working it in spring, good, and right about then, Now I can put the road across here. And right about spring, these things will be all out of here, and I can put in another set. What is in my way? Oh, I didn't think about the barn positioning. Oh well. Not a problem. Just put the road one block further over. More housing. Another barn. As soon as this is out of the way, I mark out three more orchards. Road. Okay, Wait, what's this one? That one's apple, so plum and pear. And after pear, we have peaches. Okay, great. And again, let's just rinse and repeat. I'm 
three more houses. No, it's two houses. And another barn. Did I not draw the road all the way up? Three more fifteen by fours. All right, that's peaches. So this one is cherries, and this one is apples, and that's plums. We have. 73 out of 73 farmers assigned, 34 builders assigned for the work of 16, 30 laborers or so, and this bunch of stuff is going to be completed in time for spring planting. Trader. What do you have? Chickens and sheep. I have chickens and sheep. Go away. All right, we've got some serious agricultural re urban renewal going on here. I guess you could call it that. Now, I realize these trees are all going to take three or four years to mature before they... Oh, what do we got here? An award, Highwayman. All right, what is the Highwayman Award? Highwayman, a town with 2,000 stone paved road tiles. Oh, well, that's nothing. <laughs> uh, it just takes a lot of stone and a decision to not use anything else. 2,000 tiles of paved road. Excellent. Yeah, as I was saying, these trees, I know they're going to take three or four years to mature and start producing fruit, but that's okay, because in that time, we're going to plant a lot more, or we're going to do some stuff about some stuff, and uh, get more plantings going on, get more breweries built, and so on. And my next farming push right here, I'm going to be pulling all of this stuff down. Yeah. It's a hard decision. It's a cold decision because I've got homeless now as it is. But uh, the stuff is in the way. It needs to go and the arrangement needs to be different. And I know they're not going to be thrilled with me about that. But, in the long run, it will be well worth it. Of course, I suppose I could ease up on this just a little bit. Slow down some. Deal with the trader. All right. Sheep and cattle. Do you have an order standing? No. All right. Get out of here. I have sheep and cattle. When I run out, I'll call you. All right. Yeah. This is going to mean the demolishment of more houses and the demolishment of the market and this stuff up over here, over here, which means that's going to have to be moved. Let's see. Let me extend my road. Okay, I won't have to move the woodcutter. That means if I put in a stockpile right over here behind the woodcutter, then this stuff can just be moved over there. All right, let's go ahead and mark this for removal. 
and yeah, all of this. Let's go, people. They'll have to transfer all the inventory out of everything that's there to somewhere else and then tear everything down. And let's get these roads out of the way as well. There'll be new roads going in, but those old ones have got to go. yourselves down and just do your jobs. Do them quickly. Alright, I'm going to start marking out more crop fields. And I like the frame, the idea here with the framing out the roads. I already know the width, the, the length of them. I just have to adjust the width. It makes it so much easier. No, 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 no. Removal tool. I thought I marked this. Perhaps I should have told him to harvest it first. Okay, yeah. Two, three, four, five. And that's three houses in a barn for that. Oh, for crying out loud. Which trader are you? Okay, you're not over here, so... There you go. Sheep. I don't have an order. Get out of here. Alright. Priority. Get this out of my way, because it's in my way. This is squash, that's potato. All right, beans. Wheat. Peppers. Corn. And cabbage. Wheat, 
pepper, corn. All right, assign some more farmers. Put down my storage barn. Road this up. that way. More houses and another barn. Need one more house. And guess what? That woodcutter is in the way. Uh, all right, fine. Tear it down. And we'll put up another woodcutter uh, over here. And I got a feeling I'm going to need to move that stockpile as well. So let's just go ahead and order it done now. All right. houses. Another barn. Just a second here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. A road divider. All right, and let's see, that's cabbage. Okay, beans. All right, this is turning out great. Yes, there's still 21 people without homes, but it's being corrected over time. And yes, I prematurely, I should have marked that, should have told them to harvest that field before I marked it for demolition or not being a field anymore. Because they just walked off and left all those beans there. And I don't think they're harvesting them now. They're just building right through them. So that was a big waste of food. But we're up to 40,000 food. We can afford a little bit of that. Yes, I think this farm block is a pretty decent idea. I'm sure it could probably be done a lot more efficiently, but I like it. It looks good and it works. Okay, speaking of which, we need three more crop fields here in this block. And these roads do a nice job of bordering it and say, showing where they need to be. So that's one and two. And three, all right. Okay, doing pretty good here. People are dying fairly often, but they're getting born just as often. It doesn't make a little noise and put a thing up there for people getting born. If it did, between getting born and dying, it would be very, very busy. Okay, corn, cabbage, beans, and that's corn. So we'll put cabbage here, and we'll throw pepper, peppers there. 
That's beans. And that's potatoes. Okay. Add on three more farmers. Or four more, or however many there needed to be. Bang, here we go. Okay, the reason I needed to move the woodcutter was for the third house here. Beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. We've got good crop diversity. We've got lots of crops. We've got lots more orchard space. And there's going to be more to come. Trader, what do you got? You have apples, peppers, seeds. Da, 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 da. You got a couple thousand plums. And I'm brewing plum ale, so I'll probably get those. Let's check the town hall. Make sure you don't have some seeds that I need. All right. Peach. Bean seeds got. Corn seeds I got. Apple and pepper seeds I've got. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Right off the get go here. Plums. Let's see. Let's put our 1250 firewood down. All right. Plums. Get 2,000 plum. I want all 200 stone. Lamp oil and candles? No thank you. Pear seeds? Got them. Chicken? I have my own source. Darn sure not buying ale. Onions? Buy a thousand onions. And now I'm going to just back this firewood down. And call that enough. That's done. Yeah. Well, now let's see. Bring me stone and steel tools. You're dismissed. And, oh, hey, you know, that reminds me. That reminds me. I noticed a while back, the store closed. We don't ever run out, but we are staying, hovering on the very low threshold of almost having naked people walk around. And there's our tailor. We've got one tailor. I think I'm long overdue to put up a second tailor. I think, yeah, right in here. Keep that up there so that I'll know when it's done. We'll get a second tailor and we'll start building up a reserve, a healthy reserve of those warm coats and stuff. Speaking of no tailor, is that in fact what you are making, sir? Warm coats, good. All right. So, there's been some sweeping changes, and there are more sweeping changes yet to come. And uh, I also know, looking at my clock just now for the first time since I started recording, uh, this is actually two, possibly three episodes worth of material. And... Uh, I didn't expect to be recording that much at one time, but hey, I'll roll with it. I'm having fun. Let's keep going. Trader, you have what? Lots more food. Um. No, you know what? Not now. We'll check you another time. We're doing pretty good right now. We're past what I had envisioned as a potential crisis. Okay. 
Dang, we have a second tailor, and you are making warm coats, sir. And what I want to see is the tailor hit the clothing limit. All right, this is going to be good. We've got lots of crops. We've got lots of orchards that will, over the next few years, begin to produce fruit literally and that fruit will be the beginning of expanding our brewing capabilities so stay tuned for more be sure to take a second and drop a like on the video if you like it it really does help things out on YouTube and I very very much appreciate it if you have thoughts opinions uh, suggestions, ideas, be sure to drop those in the comments. Always looking forward to ideas and things that will help improve things. And uh, so on. So, thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.